Hi, I'm James Spearman with Spearman Aircraft, and today I want to talk about the jump from the Legacy G1000 to the G1000 NXI. Stick around and I'll go over some of the benefits and we'll see if it's right for you and your aircraft. So number one, what is the difference between the G1000 and the G1000 NXI? And to keep it simple, imagine two iPhones side by side, one from 2008 compared to one today. They look probably kind of similar-ish, however, there's a huge difference on the inside. And it's not only the software, it's actually the hardware, the processors. That's similar on what's going on between the G1000 and the G1000 NXI. They look similar side by side. However, the difference is in the hardware behind the screens. And then that'll take us into the number one benefit, which is your boot up time. Waiting on the legacy G1000 screens at this point to boot up to me is extremely annoying. And that's the biggest difference that you're gonna notice right away. As soon as you turn on the G1000 NXI, it should boot up in seconds rather than minutes. Along those same lines is its processing speed when I'm trying to input flight plans or pan maps. Having those have a noticeable delay while I'm trying to fly is also annoying. It's not unsafe, it, but it is annoying, especially when becoming accustomed to the NXI displays. While the NXI does offer a clearer display, brighter display, and better colors, that's not really a huge selling point to me. The only difference that I notice is when they're exactly side by side. So let's talk about some of the benefits of why you would really want to upgrade. If I haven't mentioned it already, boot up time is way faster as well as processing speed. But you also have access to the GFC 700 Autopilot, which is a big upgrade for the King Air and Piper Meridian community. One feature that many of my customers enjoy with the NXI system is being able to upload their flight plan directly from their iPad to the avionics, and not have to manually upload the flight plan every single time. I will admit this is something that I don't use very frequently. Maybe too many times when I really needed it, it didn't work. I have to turn everything off and turn it back on, but it is a feature that many of my customers really enjoy. Some of the more subtle upgrades are my favorite, such as being able to load a visual approach in almost any airport in the United States. Aside from that, having descent profiles, uh, help from crews in my descent planning, and also having, a, having an extended center line displayed on the map, which helps situational awareness. What's the process look like moving forward and how long is it going to take? Typically what we'll do is order the parts, it'll take roughly two weeks to get everything in, and that way we've got everything sitting on the shelf ready for your aircraft to arrive. After those two weeks, once we have everything on the shelf, we'll start your job, and from there, depending on the scope and size of the aircraft, it'll take anywhere from two to four weeks to complete this job. When does this upgrade start to make sense for you? Personally, if I had a professional level aircraft, like a King Air, or a Piper Meridian, or a G58, Baron, where downtime is not really an option for me, that's when this starts to make a lot of sense. It increases your situational awareness. It also future-proofs aircraft and helps with resellability. Garmin eventually will start phasing out the legacy G1000 components. It'll be harder and harder to maintain, and it will hurt the ability to sell this aircraft or maintain it. If this upgrade sounds right for you, Reach out on my website, www.spearmanaircraft.com or click the link below and happy flying.